Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. That, no, that didn't work very well. Uh, anyways, let's get get started right away with Ace Gamer Studios. He's, his question is, with The Rise of Skywalker being out for four weeks now, what are your thoughts about the film and will you do a review? Um... To answer that second part first, not really, no. I'm not going to, like, make a separate video on this or anything, if that's what you mean. But I'll give you my thoughts and opinion on it right now. Um, so, spoiler warning for anyone that has not seen the movie yet. If I make any spoilers, I don't know if I will or not. Now, to give you my thoughts on the movie, as a movie itself, it was alright. It was okay, I guess. It was it was pretty good. They, they nailed, like, the cute and quirky characters and the... The lightsaber duels and um, the music was great. The space battles were cool. But it just felt empty, you know? I don't really know why, like what was missing really. Um, I think the biggest thing is it just felt unnecessary really. If you watched episode 1 to 6 or 1 to 9, it has like the same meaning at the end. It doesn't feel like the movies needed to exist so i don't know why they made these other three have to tie in with the other six they could have just been their own story you know um so that's my opinion and i really think that and you can argue me all you want but i really think that the only reason why they added palpatine back was to have an excuse for who ray is and who snoke is and and just to make this movie in general happen, you know? Um, so, I guess, as a movie itself, as a Star Wars movie itself, it was good. But to fit in the, like, trilogy, it's not necessary. It didn't need to happen. But that's just my opinion. Um, so, I'm going to ask you guys that question now. What are your thoughts on the movie? Just just let me know in the comments if you liked it. Like, maybe give it, like, a rating system. Um, I'll give the movie a 7 out of 10. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't, like, that amazing. So, anyways, our next question comes from E.K. Starlord. He says, what are your thoughts on the Season 7 trailer? Well, Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7 trailer. I can never read these comments right for some reason. I always read them, like, backwards. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, to answer the question, uh, I'm super excited. It's going to be so absolutely amazing. Um, I'm so excited to see what they do. Uh, unfortunately, it's the last season, which kind of makes me sad. I was really hoping that there would be like 10 seasons of The Clone Wars now. But uh, you can bet anything that I'm going to be watching the show as much as I can as soon as it comes out. Um, especially if the whole season comes out in one day. Um, I'm going to watch the whole show in one day, but if, if it's like the Mandalorian, it comes out week after week, then I'll probably have to, well, obviously I'll have to, um, I'll still watch it like as soon as it comes out. Like I watched the Mandalorian at like one in the morning. Cause that's when it hit like here where I live. So I'll probably do that again with the Clone Wars. So yeah, that, that's not really answering the question though. Uh, I guess the, my thoughts on that is it looks absolutely amazing. There you go. I answered your question. Our next question comes from E.K. Starlord again, and he says, what do you, no, not what, do you think, sorry, do you think Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order will get a sequel? Um, in terms of another game, maybe, but not for probably like another five years. Um, but I definitely think, at least if they're smart, um, they'll add some more like DLC or like updates to the game that like, make the story continue, like, continue the story, add some side missions and things to collect, you know, stuff like that, they could definitely make the game longer, because I beat the game in the first, like, two weeks of it being out, and now there's nothing to do, I could go back and play it again, but I don't really see the need to do that, so, yeah, um, I definitely think they're gonna do something, I hope they are, uh, because otherwise that's like a waste of 60, 60 bucks. But it's a fun game. Just once you beat it, now what? You know, that's the, the position I'm in. Anyways, our next question comes from question. I can't get any words right today either. Our next question comes from Jim Mann. He says, what do you do when you're not making videos? Oh man, I do a lot of stuff and I don't at the same time. If that makes any sense at all. Um, 
I do a lot of things like I love watching YouTube videos. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Watch like TV, like either Netflix, Hulu, or um, Disney Plus, and uh, play video games like play Xbox. Um, go to work, sleep, eat, stuff like that. Um, and then obviously, like when I make a video, there's a lot of stuff before making the video too like I don't just have a Lego set built in front of me to record you know I had to buy the set and then when I finally get it I had to make it um so but that's the point of Lego that's the fun of Lego really so I'm not complaining but you know um so I had to make the set and then sometimes not always but I like to kind of sit down and think about what I'm gonna like do or say in the video at least somewhere in the video maybe like think of a joke or something so you know stuff like that um, our next question comes from E.K. Starlord again. He asks a lot of questions, and I'm going to answer them all. So, um, yeah, this video should be titled something like E.K. Starlord asking many questions. No. Um, he, his next question is, are you going to get the new Black Widow set? No, um, I'm not really into Lego Marvel. I'm not really into any other theme, partially because if I was into another theme, I definitely wouldn't have any money. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get it. I'm super stoked for the movie, though. It looks amazing, and so, yeah. All right, and our next question comes from Soldier Bricks. He's got quite a lot of questions in this comment, so here we go. First one, what is your favorite class and gun in Battlefront 2? Favorite class, definitely the officer. Great way to get battle points early on in the game so you can be, like, heroes and stuff. Um, and I just really enjoy their, like, the officer's last gun. I can't remember what it's called, but uh, if you guys know, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, and favorite gun, probably, actually, definitely the specialist sniper rifle, the very last one. Once again, forgot the name. But if you land a headshot, you can instant kill people. And also the ability, which it technically is a gun, so I'm counting it. Um, the splicer uh, that allows you to see enemies through like walls, like you can see the dot on the map. Great way to find people. So that is definitely my favorite gun, um, both those two. And then the officer is my favorite class. Uh, and the next question, do you think LEGO will ever re-release a new type of blaster design? Uh, you know, um, let's just be honest. The stud shooter is the only thing that they should redesign. The other blasters, they're great. They look nice. They're cool. And I don't see the need to redesign them. But the stud shooter just doesn't look like a Star Wars blaster. It, just, it does not. It looks chunky and ugly and dumb. So I hope they re-release a new model. But I don't think they will. Obviously, they will someday because that's just how it works but not for a while i don't see them doing that for a while so i hope so though and our very last question of the day comes from ek starlord again go check him out if you have not by the way he's an awesome dude um he says what is your number one favorite star wars film out of all the prequel trilogy original trilogy and the sequel trilogy definitely 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 episode five Empire Strikes Back is just the greatest Star Wars movie of all time. You cannot deny that at all. Um, episode 3 is probably my second favorite. So yeah, those are just absolutely amazing movies. And after Season 7 of The Clone Wars, I'll probably love Episode 3 even more. You know, I, I hope so at least. So yeah, uh, that's going to do it for today. Thank you all very much for commenting and asking questions. Do remember to ask me a question for next ASA if you would like to. And that's it. So, yeah. Get out of here. Thanks for watching.